Another day of drama, threats, and robust exchanges as Mpofu and Janji were at loggerheads over the postponement request by Mpofu. While Mpofu's postponement request to cross-examine a witness was granted, Janji ruled that the meeting can go ahead to Mpofu's dissatisfaction. I'm senior to you in many ways, not, not just in age, but in many ways, you know it. Uh, so you, you, you have no right to abuse me, but fine, you've got the power now, you can exercise it, but you'll pay one day, yeah. Are you threatening me now? Yeah. Okay. Now some parties want Mpofu to be probed. It is absolutely unheard of of what Mr. Mpofu just now did. He threatens you as a chairperson of a parliamentary committee. He's an officer of the High Court, he should know better. And I want you to investigate this in terms of powers and privileges and take the necessary steps, thank you. And later, things appeared to be escalating further as Mpofu insisted the inquiry should not go ahead as Mkwebane was ill. Please conclude what you're doing. No, Mkhegas, no, no, no. Conclude the point of order, Advocate Mpofu? I can't, I can't. Kisumoy. Relax. Conclude your point of order, Advocate Mpofu. Yeah, don't shout. Relax. Take a chill pill. Relax. You don't have anything okay. to say. I want to proceed with yeah. the members. You don't no, waste no. our time. I'm on a point of order, Che. You can't. Why? Then raise your point of order. I'm How giving you the time. Message when, you are, when you are bellowing over my. Raise your point of order, Advocate Mpofu. While some MPs called for Mpofu to be proved, the UDM, EFF, and ATM defended him. Ulilani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.